Hello everyone, my name is Bodo, and today someone pointed out to me that it's no longer possible to change the new tab page in Firefox like it was in a previous video that I had done. So this is Firefox version 41, and I'm sure it'll continue through later versions as well. But whenever you hit the new tab page, it is no longer what you had previously set it as. So in order to change it again, you have to install an add-on. There is no longer a secret menu to change it. So I went and hunted this one down, it wasn't too hard to do. And there will be a link in the description. So you'll go to that link, and there will be a button that says Add to Firefox. This is the new tab override, um, kind of replacement I guess you can say, like it says there. Um, this is previously what you had to look up in the About Config menu, but that no longer exists, so you have to go through this method here. So we'll click Add to Firefox, it'll ask us if we want to install it, and we say yes. All right, and now it's in there. So now we can go to our add-ons by going through this pancake menu here and the add-on button. And you can see that we have this one right here. So now we can go to options and this is what we need to set. So if we want it to be Google, then that's what we need to make it. And now you can see whenever I hit the new tab page, it takes us to www.google.com. If I want to set it to something else, like YouTube, that's all you have to do. And once again, you can get to that option by going through the pancake menu, add-ons, clicking your extensions, going to the new tab override, which is what it's called, going to options there and then changing that address right there. And you can choose whether or not you want automatic updates or not. Um, it'd probably be a good idea to do so, just because whenever Firefox 41 updates to 42 or whatever version they skip to, that will make it work uh, still. So there we go. I hope you all found that useful, and I'll see you all again next time. Bye-bye. Hello everyone, my name is Bodo, and today I'm going to show you how to completely silence a section of audio in Audacity. So let me go and open up our sample audio. I've called it water bottle.